In football, not all great coaches were great players. Today, we're going to talk about those who, despite having discreet careers as footballers, became true legends on the bench. Gian Piero Gasparini has made Atalanta a solid project, turning a team with limited resources into one that competes every year for a Champions League spot. Apart from Atalanta, he has also managed teams like Genoa, Palermo, and Inter Milan. He was recognized as the best coach in Serie A on two occasions, in 2019 and 2020. Despite not being a world-class coach, he has achieved great merits. As a player, Gasparini didn't have a remarkable career. He played most of his career in Serie C as a midfielder for teams like Cavese and Pistoiese. But where he stood out most was at Pescara, where he promoted to the first division in 1987. At 35, he decided to end his career. Unai Emery has had ups and downs in his coaching career, but overall he's considered a great coach. Emery has won four Europa Leagues, three of them consecutively. His football career was short. He was a midfielder and played for teams like Real Sociedad and Lorca Deportiva, where he had to retire due to injury the same club where he began his coaching career. Jose Mourinho played as a midfielder, but his football career was relatively short and uneventful. He played in Portugal's lower divisions, including clubs like Rio Ave, Belenenses, Sesimbra, and Comercio e Industria. He retired as a player at 24 and soon realized his future was on the bench. After being part of several top-tier teams' technical staff as an assistant coach, he made his debut as a head coach at Benfica. He has managed top clubs like Chelsea, Inter Milan, Real Madrid, and Manchester United, among others. As a coach, he has won titles in Portugal, England, Spain, and Italy, including two Champions Leagues, two Europa Leagues, and one Conference League. His coaching legacy is vast, having won leagues and European titles in several countries, and establishing himself as one of the best coaches in football history. Arrigo Sacchi had a modest football career, never reaching professional level. Sacchi played as a defender in amateur clubs, mainly in his hometown, Fusignano. During that time, he worked as a shoe salesman. Arrigo Sacchi became one of the most innovative coaches in history, taking AC Milan to new heights and revolutionizing tactics. With AC Milan, Sacchi won a Scudetto and led the team to conquer two consecutive European Cups in 1989 and 1990. In 1991, he became the national team coach of his country and achieved a runner-up finish at the 1994 World Cup in the United States. Arsene Wenger's football career wasn't very fruitful, at least on a personal level. He started playing amateur football as a defender or libero for several minor French clubs while studying at the University of Strasbourg, where he graduated with a degree in economics in 1974. Wenger turned professional in 1978, signing with RC Strasbourg. Although RC Strasbourg won the French League in 1979, Wenger had little prominence in the team, playing only three times. In 1981, he obtained his coaching diploma and was appointed youth team coach at RC Strasbourg. At Arsenal, Wenger became the club's longest serving and most successful coach after leading Arsenal to win 17 titles since 1996. Football experts credit Wenger for his contribution to the transformation of football in England in the late 1990s through introducing changes in player training and diet. He led the team known as the Invincibles during the 2003-04 season, when Arsenal finished undefeated in the Premier League. Wenger won three Premier League titles and seven FA Cups. Thomas Tuchel has coached prominent clubs like Borussia Dortmund, PSG, Bayern Munich, and Chelsea even winning the Champions League with the latter. As a player, he played as a central defender, but retired just six years after his debut, suddenly at 25, due to chronic cartilage damage in his knee. Jurgen Klopp is a coach who has brought success to every team he has managed. He promoted Mainz to the Bundesliga, won two Bundesliga titles with Borussia Dortmund, and took the team to a Champions League final. At Liverpool, he won the Premier League and Champions League establishing himself as one of the best coaches in history. Klopp spent most of his playing career at Mainz, initially as a striker before switching to defense. He described himself as 
having fourth division feet and a first division head, feeling more suited to a coaching role. These coaches have shown that you don't need to be a star player to shine on the bench. Passion and tactical vision can make you a legend. Which coach do you think had the greatest evolution from player to manager? Share your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more football content.